Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I'm Anna Mae and I haven't posted in a little while um, just because life has been pretty crazy. I'm in a completely new space, obviously. Um, I'm living in New York right now, which is wild. Um, you can definitely follow more on all of those happenings over on my Instagram at anamae.yt. Um, but yeah, in summary, I'm here because I'm interning with the United Nations for five months. I'm on a one-year graduate visa um, from Ireland. I'm Irish. And yeah, basically my life is a mess. So <laughs> I haven't been boasting that much. So today I'm going to, I should tell you what I'm going to do. I want to do, kind of share my recent makeup favourites because I've tried a couple new things since I've been here. I've been here since about the 27th, 28th of December and it's now beginning of February. Um, so these are kind of the things that I've purchased and I've been trying out and I've really liked some of them so I thought it would be fun to share. So instead of just sharing them I thought I would do a little get ready with me kind of for my work makeup as an intern. I have a very intern -y kind of a shirt on right now. But I think that lighting just kind of changed. The makeup I do for my internship that I'm going to share with you is much more subdued <laughs> than what I would do if I was just doing something fun, but um, I thought it would be good to share these new fun products. So right now I'm putting on Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I don't love it, but um, I actually prefer a CeraVe moisturizing cream I think it's way 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 better um, but basically if I need round two of moisturization before I actually do my makeup um, I will use that because I'm kind of oh you can't see it's only like up to about here like there's about a third left so I'm just trying to use it up that's it for the moisturization you can I don't know if you can really tell but yeah I am breaking out all over my face I've had acne since I was like 14 and this is as good as we get like cure wise so um yeah I guess we'll just jump in so usually in the mornings you know I have a bit of time between like moisturizing and putting on my foundation uh, just because you need foundation not foundation you need your moisturizer to dry down moisturizer does not sink in let's just make that a known fact okay you can't you can't push stuff in doesn't work like that. So, the foundation I've been using is one of the new products and it is the Mega Cushion Foundation from Wet n Wild. Shocker, I know. Um, basically, usually I use Clinique um, because of the bad skin, but it's not cruelty free and CoverGirl is now cruelty free so I know that I'm gonna try their three in one foundation again because I loved that back in the day. But that foundation is way too dark for me right now. I'm going to probably edit this a little bit better so the lighting is better, but yes, I am this pale in real life. So, this foundation was pretty cheap. <laughs> That's powder packaging. Um, it comes with this little poof, which is actually, I also have a brush that I sometimes apply it with, but realistically, the poof is the best thing uh, to apply this with. So, yeah, I got this as just like a different option, I guess. Um, it's much lighter coverage, I would say, than the Clinique. It's the Clinique. About it. Beyond perfecting something. Um, this is a definitely lighter coverage, but it does the job. It also has SPF 15, um, even though there's like no sun here, it's so cold, but it's still good to have that and it kind of smells like sunscreen, which I love. Um, but it hasn't like, if I've had any breakouts, this I, I have not been able to say, oh, it's my foundation. So that's pretty good for somewhat sensitive skin. So, that's it, I just pat it on with this. You know, you push it into the cushion. Now, will I, I will say, I don't think there's that much product in this. That's something to be warned of. But, yeah, that's the foundation. So that is this foundation. I think I'm wearing the lightest shade. It's 106A. Light ivory, it's like neutral, which would be me. So, yeah, like I'm pretty happy. It looks a bit different color wise, but I think it's just this camera, like it looks fine in the mirror. So, that's 
the foundation. So I'm very well aware I don't have the best eyebrows. Like people are like, oh, you wax them too far apart. I don't wax them. <sighs> they just grow too far apart. Um, but I do fill them, but I'm always like the worst when it comes to things. So I use eyeshadow. One of those people. I use this shade here, which is kind of a mink color. Um, with kind of a purplish undertone. Oops. Um, but I don't know why I hate buying brow products because they run out so quick. It just it just really bothers me. Um, and I never know. Like people are like, oh, your eyebrows are too dark. But then, like, it's just kind of color matching them because what is this ugly curl? Um, my hair is like ashy. It starts off like a naturally like an ashy color and then just gets super warm so I never know what to do um but what can you do um so yeah they're kind of patchy but I'm always afraid to I've never waxed my eyebrows fun fact um I've only ever tweezed like the stragglers every couple of weeks or months um but it's not something that's like uh, a major thing but yeah so this brush is from eco tools it's fabulous so moving on to actual like eyes eyeshadow my holy grail product uh to face shadow insurance it's the only thing um i used to have like really really oily skin like pre all different acne medications um and my eyelids used to be so flippin' oily, but this was the only thing that worked. So now they're not the same way, but I am still like loyal to it and a little goes a long way. Um, so for work, oh excuse me, um, I always just do like a neutral kind of a look. Um, usually from this palette as opposed to my Gingerbread Spice palette, which is what this camera's resting on. But um, I'll usually pretty much use from these shades. This one broke. Um, I'll kind of cover this here. You can see, so you can you can see the shades that I use the most. This one, I don't do cool tones. They don't look good on me. So, I'll just do like a basic golden brown kind of a look for today, which is what I get for most days. I, I always feel the need to wear eyeshadow. It's just, good enough. This does look a little bit wild right now but that's because I'm blonde and I have blonde eyelashes so you like can't see them at all. So next I'm gonna jump in with the setting powder which is another one of my favorites that I'm introducing in this video and it is the Milani Prep Set and Go. Prep and Set and Go actually. <coughs> <coughs> so frustrating. I keep having to pause this video because I'm like basically Pretty sure I'm allergic to New York City in general because I'm like reacting so badly to the pollution because I'm from the countryside, so that's great. Um, but this Milani Prep Set and Go is really good. Um, did I really look at the ingredients? No, because I don't want to. But it just face powders are the worst when you're looking at like bad for you ingredients, honestly. Um, I'll look at it later. It won't open. It's a sign. Um, so it can look a little bit ew first. But um, for someone who does have oily skin, it it does do the job for the most part. I would say I thought it would kind of be more like a a loose, you know, the like loose setting powders that are just 100% silica. Um, I thought it would be kind of like that in a compacted form, but it's not. So because those break me out bad. Um, so do most face powders. If only Too Faced didn't discontinue the Cocoa Powder Foundation, because that's what I used and it was amazing. Um, I will be salty about that till the day I die, honestly. Unless they bring it back. So, 
that foundation, the Maybelline Cushion Foundation, although really good, definitely needs to be set. Like, for sure. Like, I'm in cold, dry weather, and you still, it would still just slide off your face, um, which is not optimal. I've kind of gone off, um, what do you call it? Pencil eyeliner recently. It's just I don't want to work closer to me, just because. I don't know, it just has not been working out for me. Um, I think it's because like, it's so hard to get off. And I got this, I really need a new liquid eyeliner, my other one tried out, and this one was cheap. It was the Epic Link, Epic Link, Epic Ink Liner in Black from, it says it's waterproof, that's a lie, um, from NYX. So I like it because it's actually easy to come off, so I, I really wouldn't think that it's waterproof at all. But, um, because I don't use makeup remover, I just use like a makeup eraser wipe. Like the, it's not a wipe, it's a towel. So, I'll be back. So, eyeliner's done, it already looks better. Um, it's not very neat, but like it's actually better than it is most days, because a lot of the time it's haywire, and it's like so thick, because I just have to keep going over it again but we're doing pretty good for now. And um, so I'm gonna jump into bronzer. The best bronzer, in my opinion, of all time. I actually want to try the Physician's Formula uh, Butter Bronzer, but I can't, I'm not, not that I can't do that. I haven't been able to yet because it's only in the US, but, um, and then I have this and I love this. So this is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder, not Cocoa Powder, that was the foundation, Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Matte Bronzer. Fabulous. I love it. I love a bit of bronzer. And yes, I contour with this because I'm the worst. Toes. I keep tripping on my words. So to set up, set. so to set my eyebrows, I just use this. Lash and Brow Gel Mascara from Essence. I really like Essence products, which you'll see in a second. I almost put this on my eyelashes. Um, but yeah, I really like Essence products. Um, they are cruelty free, and for the most part, I think they're really suitable for sensitive skin. Like, I've never had a bad reaction to any of their products, um, which is always a good sign. So, um, I'm also just gonna curl my eyelash. What a difference. Um, I do not do not curling my eyelashes. I really need to do it. Um, and then another favorite, which I've been using for a while, but I just needed to like reiterate how much of a favorite this is. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, and it's the best. Wait and see. Easy as that. It's just really really good so blush has kind of been difficult because I keep getting wind burned thanks New York so I definitely don't go without blush because it just does not look good on me so I've kind of been going between all for the most part I've been using Milani Luminoso I just think it's a good it's a good blush like there's a reason there's that there's hype about it there was all those years ago like it's really good. It's kind of for me. I always say it's kind of my wintertime blush. It looks really severe right there. Um, but it really is because my skin is so pale and it's quite dull to be honest. You know, it's not not the best. So being able to like, I look like a. Cl it's just um, overall. Yeah, it just really brightens up the face overall. And this looks like a lot of blush, but it's not really. And last, but most definitely not least, is this Peppermint Organic Lip Balm from Dr. Bronner's. I typically don't wear lipstick for work because I'm always really conscious of it going everywhere. Um, but definitely do need something on your lips here because it's like so cold and whatever. And I tried, if you've seen ads for those Blistex Super Fruit Soothers, they're appalling in my opinion. 
I tried one. It was so bad. Then I started to see all this advertising for it. I was like, if these people tried this product, it's awful. So I saw this at Target. I went to the Target like last week or the week before. I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a different lip balm. I cannot live with that one. And it's amazing. So this is, it's not really makeup, but it kind of is. Definitely been a part of like my makeup routine. I put it on at night, I put it, have it in work. Like it's just, it's a really good lip balm if you haven't already tried it. So this is the finished makeup look. I wear for work every day, basically, except maybe changing the blush and maybe making my eyeshadow a little bit pinker rather than like golden colored. Um, I don't go too wild because it is a professional environment, but I do like to have some makeup on just because I like to put on makeup. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything, be sure to leave a comment down below. Also follow me on Instagram to stay up to date and I will see you in my next video.